Well, a couple of questions here for you. Do you like asking questions? Do you like knocking on doors? Well, if so, know this. The government is hiring for the census with nearly 10,000 jobs available here in Wisconsin alone. NBC 26's Eric Kress now with details of what the job pays. Every 10 years, the federal government seeks out nearly half of a million job seekers to collect crucial information about our neighbors. And the job hunt began on Thursday in Oshkosh. They will be going door to door and knocking on doors and talking to people and getting them to answer the census. Census takers will be responsible for asking whole neighborhoods questions like what's your name, sex, age and race, all in an attempt to find out the demographics of our state. So many things are impacted by these numbers, congressional seats, um, funding that is at the state level and on down to the local communities, all that is impacted by these numbers. The part-time or full-time gig will only last from about March through July. Somebody's got to do it, so why not give it a shot? And while it's just temporary work, it pays every week, and you could make 17 to $24 an hour. I never would have expected 20 bucks an hour, not at all. The application process only takes about 15 minutes and you can do it online. But the wait to find out if you landed the job, well, that could take about a month. There's a lot of flexibility. People who are in between jobs, anyone who might be looking to make a, an additional income. It's a job that only becomes available every 10 years. And for those able to secure a position, it's an exciting opportunity. It's quick, painless, I mean, good money. I mean, that's, that's good enough for me right there. In Oshkosh, here at Crest, NBC 26. And officials are looking for about 1,000 people each in Outagamie, Brown, and Winnebago counties. And there are openings across every county in our region. Requirements do include having a car and access to the Internet. The job would last, as Eric mentioned, for about five months.